This is for the SDN firewall with Pox fall 2021 semester. This is a quick overview of how to test manually. And basically I have created three sets of rules. One, to block the US network from accessing a DNS UDP 53 on the HQ network. One, to allow host US1 to access DNS on host headquarters one. And then I did a TCP example from US to headquarters TCP 85 to show you the difference between when things connect on US uh, TCP versus UDP. So first, I am going to go start up my firewall. So start firewall and then configure.pol. And this is actually with a working, working uh, implementation. Now I'm going to go over here and we're going to start up my topology. And you'll notice that this appeared after you start this. I know my description in the present description doesn't say that that comes afterwards, but you actually have to start up the topology in order for that to show up. If it shows up without starting the topology, you have Mininet open in the background still, and you probably should run cleanup. So let's test, let's make sure the block works. So I'm going to call up uh, host us1. Um, X term, and that will be US one over here, and then I'm going to call up headquarters one. That will be here, and then headquarters two, and that will be here. So I'm I'm just going to put this one on top because this is just to see if the firewall is working. So here, this is a server. So this is headquarters two, uh, which would be Python uh, test server u ten dot zero dot uh, zero dot two fifty three and. I forgot the dot .py. Okay, so it's listing on port 53. So if I go here and I call Python test client, you, uh, I'm gonna say it again, u 10.0.0.253, I should get nothing. So it sent the message because UDP is a connectionless protocol. So it doesn't really know what's happening on the other side. So it will send the message, but if you notice here on the on the HQ2, you don't see anything as nothing's happened. Okay, so I'm gonna cancel that. Cancel that. And basically it would it could it would time out on its own. So I'm gonna close the HQ2. This time I'm going to go to the HQ1 and I'm going to call the test server again. U 10.0.0.1 because that's the IP address of HQ1 53. Now I go over here. I repeat this but change it to the HQ1 and I have a connection. Message sent, message received. So but the other thing to note on here is, I don't know if you see this error here. It's not exactly an error. What that indicates is Pox and OpenFlow actually understands what a DNS packet is supposed to look like. And this is not what a DNS packet would contain. So it's basically telling us that the packet's malformed. So this works. So you would test that. Now you would go here and test. Uh, let me go here and let's go uh, CN1. X term. So this is China. So the server is still running. Now, if I call Python test client.py 10.0.0.1.53, what do you think will happen? Works. 
because I'm not blocking the China network. I'm only blocking the U.S. Uh, so let me try from U.S. 2. Because U.S. 2 should be blocked from talking to Headquarters 1 because I only pinhole uh, U.S. 1 allowing it to talk to Headquarters 1. So if I go here, Python test client.py u10.0.0.1.53 Again, nothing happens because it's blocked. It sent, it sent the thing, but it never got a response back because it never made it here. Because my my rule blocks anything destined to the headquarters subnet using T, uh, UDP port 53. So, I, like I said, this is how UDP works. TCP is a different animal. So I'm going to go kill this. Uh, but I'm going to leave. So this was China. This was China one or US two here. So I'm going to leave that here. Now I'm actually going to go. And I'll leave headquarters one because the headquarters one actually is blocked for TCP. So I'm just going to go change this to TCP 85. Change that to a T. So now I'm waiting for a connection on that server for TCP 85. I go here, change that. This is host US2. Connecting, but it doesn't ever say sending because it can't. Uh, TCP TCP requires the three way three way handshake, so it knows it can't establish a connection, so it doesn't do anything. Now, if I go here and change this, close that one and go to CN one X term again, and I will go down here and say. Python test client uh, t 10.0.0.185 that worked so it sent and received because I, again I'm not blocking the China network so I hope this kind of shows kind of how to test uh, the other things I would test manually uh, when you're done with your implementation so I said block, well actually let's go demonstrate. So I said block US, uh, the US, headquarter, US to headquarters TCP 85. So I'll leave this, leave this here. Uh, but I'm going to change this and make this now UDP port 85. And then I will call US, uh, I'll just see US 3 X term. And now I'm going to go try to do a UDP connection. It works because the rule was only to block TCP. So make sure you check if you're blocking TCP and you're not supposed to be blocking UDP, make sure that that functionality works. That's just a quick, quick uh, brief overview on how to test. Uh, again, if you have any questions, post on EdStim or Slack.